Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. I'm just going to explain the situation I have at the moment. I have a folder for the pictures of me, and um, basically, you'll notice that they're all they've all got sort of different names. Can you see it says like me, Happy Duncan, Dunks? Because uh, not all of these were taken by me. Some have been taken from like webcams. Some are for things like um, websites, which I've had to upload pictures to of myself, like MySpace and things like that. But uh, you'll notice that not all of them have the same name, and not all of them have the same extension. So, for example, this is a bitmap, uh, this is a JPEG, and this one's a PNG. Uh, there's a GIF over here. So, uh, they're all in different formats. Now, I'm not a very organized person, to be honest, with my things. So, uh, what I want to be able to do is have these all in a particular order, or have them all renamed to a um, to a certain order and have them all really to be honest the same type so if I were to make an album I'd rather just have them all as JPEGs instead of having random ones that are bitmaps and GIFs and PNGs I'd rather keep them all at JPEG because that's like the most common form anyway so um, now as a classic Windows trick uh, you can just uh, drag over all of them and press F2, F2 means rename and it's gone over here, but it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to change the first start bit um, before the .gif. I'm just going to say me in capitals. Press enter. And you'll notice that all of them have changed. It says me, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's got all of them, um, and it's also retained its uh, extension. So it hasn't renamed the extension, so it's kept BMP, kept JPEG, and all that. So um, I won't undo this because um, it only does it about five times. So try not to do this if you um, want to undo what you've done because it won't work because it only saves about six or seven undos. So anyway, I have another folder which has got the same things that I had originally with all my files and all my extensions. So I'm going to use my little friend called Earth and View. And all I'm going to do in this box, you'll open up Earth and View, it'll be blank, just press B and it says a batch conversion now you'll notice that you have batch conversion batch rename and batch conversion rename results file so you can either convert rename or do both and that's exactly what I want to do I want to be able to convert them all into um, JPEG and then rename the end results with a certain order of files so um, you can see the batch conversion settings so I can uh, change it to many many formats if I want to convert all these uh, files I have to many formats um, an interesting one is the Windows icon so I could actually make my face a Windows icon if I really wanted to but um, at the, for the time being we're just going to go for JPEG now with each one of these you've also got an array of options uh, so you can change the quality of it all this stuff that you can do with it So and you'll notice um, underneath it says batch rename settings now I've already set this um, but I'll just quickly explain it uh, you see the hash here, it says one digit or a number, so I'll put me hash hash because I have 20 of these photos I want it to say me 01, me 02, me 03, me 04, all the way up to 20 so if you had 100 photos you'd have to add an extra hash it's just a, it's for a digit basically uh, you've got some other stuff here but I haven't really um, you can increment it if you really want to or start it by a number um, but this replace text I haven't really tried so I'm not sure what that does but hey so I'm going to cancel this and uh, it's all ready to go with the me and the output directory I'm going to make a, uh, for a folder on the desktop and I'm going to call it results and what I'm going to do is change the output directory to results so it's ready to go include subdirectory so if you have a, um, a folder full of pictures or loads of folders full of pictures then you can just say include subdirectories so you've you got the settings ready to go, we now need to choose the files we're going to put in there. So this is the one that I was working with just now, where I renamed them all, and it um, put them all into 1 to 19. And um, what I'm going to do is go into my Me Too, which is the one I'm now working with, drag my mouse over all of these, and uh, if I show you the files of types that it supports, have a look at this. <laughs> it's got all of these that you can do and convert if you really want to. There's loads here. So, uh, you won't be stuck for converting your um, photos if you really want to to whatever format you want so I'm now going to add all of these I'm just going to drag them over again I'm going to say add all so they're all in this um, just move this across a little bit they're all in this list here so it says all, all of them here and all of them being JPEG you've got some BMPs, PNGs as I said so uh, that's pretty much it we've got all the files selected we've got the properties we want we want to convert and rename them convert them all to JPEG and have them going from me 1 to me 
20 basically. So just all I have to do is now is press start batch. So I'm pressing it, it's now, it's done, it's done it already, it's converted them all and it says 20 files, errors naught, warnings naught, that's a good thing. <laughs> so I'm just going to exit this, I can now close earth and view because it's done. I'm now going to close this box which was, this was the original lot that I had, remember? And I'm just going to open up results. And I've got me one, me two, me three, me four, me five. So it's at now have them has them all in a, in a certain order, which helps me because I now have them all in um, in a number order, and they're all in the same format. So they're ready to go if I need to upload them to sites that only support JPEG or whichever. And you'll notice that I converted it from various formats. So you can convert them from like if they're all BMPs and you're converting to JPEGs or GIFs or whatever. There's so, there's so many options. I'm not even going to go into it. But another interesting thing you might want to try out is converting a picture to an icon or multiple pictures to icons because that that looks quite cool. So um, that's about it really. So thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.